Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be touring and giving you some stats on this mega build right here behind me. This thing comes in at a whopping 22,000 instances, making it a bit frame ratey. Now, I've been calling this base the Frost Cave Fortress, and that's because in this build, I challenged myself to include a frost cave into the theme. So as you can see, I built a tower right on top of it. I also made the front entrance split into two different paths, one leading away from the castle and one leading directly to the frost cave for easy access. And finally, I also came up with a banner for the kingdom that is of course related to the cultist trophy. I think I did a decent job overall of incorporating a frost cave into the build. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the tour so that I can show you. All right, let's get started with the tour of the castle. Now, let's talk about a few things like how this place works before we head inside. First of all, you can see the only access to the front entrance is through these two staircases. We've also got the custom banner for the kingdom here front and center. And then also the central tower here in the front, I think worked out really well. I decided to do a circular tower for the front entrance and I think it just looks really cool. But yeah, other than that, before we head inside, I did want to point out, check it out how cool this looks down in a hole you really don't think about it unless you point it out but this whole thing is built into a hole so that i could have a dungeon level in my castle i hope that kind of makes sense without getting too much into it so yeah let's head into the castle as we come up here into the front entrance you're going to see that we've got some major castle vibes as we enter you know long hallways stone pillars stone arches on the ceilings stone floors every floor has has stone floors uh, so that it really feels like a castle I don't know I just I love the vibes in this build down there at the end of this hallway you can see a little access to the staircase tower which we'll be using to get whoops pardon me while I eliminate some drakes which are attacking my castle for no reason but yeah the staircase tower at the end that's gonna be what we're using to access all three floors of the keep and also the uh, frost cave tower so yeah, let's head into the main level where you can see we have a dining room and also through this glass wall here we also have a throne room which I thought was kind of a cool feature. Uh, the dining room itself has seating for 40 people which I think is pretty awesome. Um, and it also has food for a kingdom. You know what I mean? We've got food all over the place. We've got stone ovens to cook more food. We've got food already on the tables. We've also even got another area. Stone ovens made it into the dining room, but the rest of the cooking stuff did not. So we've got a little fireplace over here on the end of this hallway where we can do the rest of our cooking. You can see there are two fireplaces included in the build, one here in the dining hall and one one floor up in the king and queen's quarters. So yeah, let's go ahead and head down the hallway just a little bit further where we can enter the throne room. So the throne room is pretty cool. It's actually the bottom layer of the circular tower in the back of the castle. I just brought this circular tower all the way down and through. You can see it's fully sealed off if it needs to be. We've got these doorways on both sides. We've got a private table here for the king and queen's family to eat, some storage up on the wall, and also, of course, the actual throne for the king himself to sit or the queen herself to sit with the custom banners on the walls, treasure down below, and, you know, just vibes for a kind of uh, royal family type of area so yeah let's head out of the throne room down the hallway if i look down to the right you'll see the front entrance and of course here is the dining room so that's it for the first layer all right so now let's head downstairs into what was going to be a dungeon but instead wait a second this isn't right ended up being the army barracks and storage for the castle you can see we've got slightly taller ceilings down here you know same vibes stone pillars on the walls red carpet for the floor stone for the floor uh you know just same stone castle type of vibes here on the left side we've got the army barracks now the army barracks has room for 12 beds for 12 soldiers unfortunately the people at the top are gonna be a little bit cramped Bruh. but that is okay check out the rest of the room over here we've got the captain's bed 
and we've got over here just kind of a crazy custom cooking area for the soldiers some nice banners on the wall a little place to sit and then a place to cook some food little bellows here kind of worked into the mix also here on this back wall we've got a custom little area uh, to sit get some work done you know just a classic type of army barracks beds drinks food places to sit things like that let's head down the hallway into possibly my favorite room in the castle this thing is just a storage room but it's pretty awesome so first things first you can see the far wall is just using stone shelves which i think look really good and are super underrated next we've got the left wall which has turned into kind of the weapon storage for the castle so you can see we've got shields in the bottom right like melee weapons you can swing with your hand on the left and on the top right we've got bows and you know just miscellaneous things here and there tools to do repairs and shields in the middle just a fun wall for weapons and armor on this side actually this side is the armor side this side is the weapon side so you can see i tried to make like a little area here where you could sit and kind of work on armor and repair it i think it worked out kind of well i'm more just like the storage shelf i think that it looked really cool up above where all the storage is for the armor so yeah i don't know just each wall is completely different but all looking really nice and then the final wall which i didn't really have any room to do anything i just packed with a bunch of fermenters because we are in a castle with a bunch of soldiers so i would think they'd be doing a lot of drinking <laughs> yeah boy so that is that let's head out of the bottom of the castle and let's head upwards as you already know the first floor we're going to pass is where the dining hall is the front entrance and the throne room let's keep on heading up the tower trying to ignore the giant branches clipping through the wall i really need to do something about that but yeah now we can come out onto the third layer and the third layer is very unique because this actually has kind of security levels that only certain people can access so as you can see i'm running around here on the castle wall regular guards are on the wall out here captains get their own private space here in this tower but they can also access this area where we're kind of getting into the king and queen's quarters back through these doors and another set of doors down the hallway which i'll show you that is actually the king and queen's quarters all right so the captains they have their own space here in the tower you can see that drakes are really the number one problem for this little kingdom here so that's why we've got those on the walls we've got three different lookouts which look out very nicely over the front entrance and we've also got storage and just cartography tables to make some plans so this is kind of the captain's space back here over the wall we have a sealed off section of buildings now as you can see we've got some kind of crazy roofs which almost make a v shape which make two long hallways and these hallways are really cool so this is actually getting into the space for the royal family so only captains can make it into here so let me show you everything that's in these hallways this is where you would prepare for an imminent attack so you have extra shields swords extra armor we've got you know uh, fuel for fires uh, forge table setup mead storage type of area we've got the actual planning area here where the king and queen whoops pardon me while i kill another drake these drakes are just crazy here in the mountain biome let me tell you but yeah this is kind of the area where the king would come out and plan with the captains what is going to happen more mead here on the left a workbench set up we've got some fancy little displays here in the wall uh you know inventory here and there and down here at the end of the hallway we've kind of got some resource storage for the kingdom so yeah that's it for the private hallway here and how this kind of floor works all right so the king and queen's quarters let's head inside so for this space you can see that we've got first of all a kitchen here on the left this is the second chimney in the castle which of course is just for the royal family little kitchen here uh stone ovens here and yeah that's pretty much it for your kitchen area you're gonna see that we've got an entrance right here in front of me and also an entrance over 
here and that's because right here in front of me is actually that main tower which down below is the throne room and up above is actually the king and queen's private quarters so it's kind of cool that this tower ended up being exclusively used for the king and queen you can see right above the doorways is a little bit of a grate which is kind of just a cool little feature um and yeah so let's take a nice little tour of this area this would be the king sized bed for the king and queen you can see it is two beds kind of merged together to make a very nice bed with a nice little display there on the wall we've got storage tucked away out of the way a place to sit and eat uh, you know some extra armor uh, the king and queen also have their own full workshop setup so you're going to find a blast furnace in here smelters all sorts of things yeah, we've got a nice little place to sit here little place to bathe here in the corner and now we can head into the actual tower itself so the tower came out really cool it feels like a wizard tower or an enchanting tower or something like that with how the staircases work it kind of just has this big spiral and the whole place is supposed to seem kind of like it is kind of curving around everywhere so you can see the little workshop area is kind of a big long curve and on the opposite side using infinity hammer mod i was able to place all of these together so it kind of uh just created a really nice clean area down here for a workshop what's the co the coolest part i think is is how it works you can see there's another door here as we go around the staircase there's another door across a walkway and then the staircase keeps going around and goes all the way around to the top it's pretty cool how this all kind of shaped up so let me take you guys on a nice little walk upstairs so we're gonna go up the stairs a little further and i'm gonna go this way and we'll come back around through that door so what these doors do is they give the king and queen access to their kind of like little private deck here outside so they're actually kind of tucked away from the view of any intruders and they have their own kind of private deck space here on the top of the castle you can see this is where the kilns made it so that they have kilns that they can use here's a little grate down to the door which is kind of cool the stone like tower itself you can see i added in some little pillars here to make it look like they're supporting it we've got the banner custom banner for the kingdom there you know lots of seating out here these are just crenellations which i added to make the tower look kind of cool but then i decided to kind of merge benches into them to make them seating areas another seating area over on this side more seating over here storage uh, nice little windmill area here in case they need windmills like i said the king and queen have access to pretty much a full workshop so yeah let's head down the staircase over here into that other doorway which i was saying see it just kind of heads right back into the tower kind of cool and then we can head up and around the staircase to the top of the tower whoop little auto save action right there as we get to the top of the tower we have the kind of area here on the right where uh, you could put on some nice armor if you needed to to defend against an attack and do some quick repairs we've also got some storage here and a place to sit at the kind of lookout which has the main view of everything we've got also another final little area over here uh, where you can sit and where you can make some plans on the cartography table but yeah that's pretty much it for the king and queen's area they have a massive area back here to live in but let's head upstairs to the lookout tower once again ignoring the trees clipping through so here is the staircase tower at the very top of it you can see there's a chandelier built in up here using four ecthyr trophies some shields and some crypt keys and also uh, some sirtling trophy heads uh, we've just got basically a nice little tower design here little bench place to sit with the view uh, another table to sit and eat you know the guards would be hanging out here maybe doing some planning uh you know just talking and waiting for their shift to be over really probably as we head this way we can head down the hallway into the frost cave tower now this thing is awesome on the inside of it we've got a workbench set up we've also got a cartography table set up and down below on this other floor that we have we have a forge table set up so you've got like a workshop over here but really this is kind of more like the navigation tower with portals it's also a lookout tower because you can see out every single direction which is really nice so you know you can see enemies coming from a long way away from here 
Um, but yeah, you know, a couple of portals up here, some storage, and a cartography table, and a workbench. And then as we head down into the bottom layer of the lookout tower, we've got our forge set up here on this side as we go around. You can see that we've got the rest of the forge set up. We've got some storage, we've got some portals, a place to sit, uh, you know, a little place to sit and eat and look at the castle from here. But yeah that is it for the video all right that is that for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did maybe leave a like or maybe even subscribe i also have a tiktok twitter instagram reddit and a discord which becomes more and more active every day so stop by and join the chat if you want more coming soon thanks for watching and as always have a good one